Hey guys, in this video I'm going to share with you a theory about Charlie from Charlie and Friends. As you all know, Charlie and Friends is Braxton's favorite TV show, and because of that, we often see how Braxton watches Charlie and Friends and enjoys it. Every time we see Charlie and Friends, we get to see the titular character Charlie, a guy who normally just talks to the camera while having funny situations happening to him, such as accidentally doing something wrong or messing something up. However, there have also been instances in which we have seen Charlie interacting with other small characters, such as in Junior's Deadly Idea, Charlie gets arrested, or in Jeffy and Junior's Big Heist. The weird thing is that every time Charlie appears interacting with other small small characters, he acts as if he still was in his TV show, and we even get to hear the sound effects of people shouting every time he says his name, or laughing every time he does something funny. But that doesn't make any sense, why is it that every time he appears, he acts as though he still was inside of his TV show? What's the point? if there seems to be no cameras around him in many of those moments, and how is it possible that even when he is just living his daily life, there's still sound effects and things that seem to indicate that he's still inside of an episode of his TV show. Well, I have an interesting theory that you may want to hear. Have you ever watched the movie The Truman Show? Bear with me. I know on the surface this seems to have little to do with the matter at hand, but it's crucial to explain what that movie is about in order to explain the theory. The Truman Show is a 1998 film starring Jim Carrey as the titular character Truman. The story revolves around Truman, a man who has lived his entire life in a meticulously constructed reality television show broadcast 24-7 to a global audience. Unbeknownst to Truman, his entire world, including his friends, family, and even his hometown, is a massive set populated by actors and controlled by the show's creator. Truman lives an idyllic life in the town of Sea Haven, which he believes is a real place. However, strange occurrences start to happen, leading Truman to question the reality of his world. He begins to notice that his every move is being monitored and orchestrated. Ultimately, Truman's curiosity and determination lead him to discover the truth about his life and the world he inhabits. The film culminates in his dramatic escape from Sea Haven as he chooses to seek the real world beyond the artificial environment. The film explores the concept of reality and how our perceptions can be manipulated. Truman's understanding of his world is entirely based on what he has been shown, making him question what is real and what is fabricated. This raises questions about the nature of reality and the extent to which our perceptions can be influenced by external forces. The constant surveillance Truman is under represents the ultimate loss of privacy and autonomy. Knowing or suspecting that every action is being watched and controlled can be deeply unsettling and psychologically damaging. Truman's journey reflects a profound existential crisis, the realization that his life has been a lie and that he has been deprived of authentic experiences leads to a deep sense of disorientation and despair. This mirrors the human quest for meaning and authenticity in life and the fear that one's life may be insignificant or controlled by external forces. The gradual discovery of the truth induces paranoia in Truman, the feeling that everyone around him is conspiring against him and that his life is a spectacle for others' entertainment can lead to extreme anxiety and a sense of betrayal. This taps into the fear of being manipulated and the loss of trust in those we consider close. Now, let's go back to talking about Charlie from SML. After the explanation I just gave about Truman from The Truman Show, you have probably already made the connection about all the similarities between Truman from The Truman Show and Charlie from Charlie and Friends. Both have their whole life 
being broadcast to other people as a TV show. The main difference is that Truman was not aware that he was the main character of a TV show, while Charlie actually is. We can assume there's hidden cameras everywhere around the city in which Charlie lives that capture pretty much his every move and broadcast it on live TV. Actually, we have been told plenty of times that Braxton pretty much spends his whole day watching Charlie and Friends and every time we see Charlie and Friends on TV, we hear that everything is filmed in front of a live audience. The live audience are all the people watching Charlie just living his normal life and possibly Charlie is being controlled by the show's creator who just randomly modifies aspects of his life in order to make the show funnier and similar to Truman, Charlie is also recorded 24-7 in order to show his life as a TV show to millions of people every single day. And we have actually met the creator of Charlie and Friends. We saw him during the video, the Charlie and Friends problem, taking decisions about what to do in order to make the show funnier and have more audience. But if the show itself is just Charlie living his normal life, then that means the show's creator just literally makes drastic life-changing decisions for Charlie without him having a say in the matter, just like how Truman was forced to do certain things because of his show's creator. What I believe is that, similar to Truman, Charlie used to be just a kid that was adopted when he was a baby by the show's creator. He was then raised to act the whole time the way he does in order to entertain the audience that unbeknownst to him are watching him all the time. Then the production company installed secret cameras all around the city in which Charlie lives as well as speakers in order to make the sound effects. That's why every time Charlie appears, other SML characters can also hear the people laughing and shouting even though there's no one around. And that's it, Charlie is just a guy who has been fooled his whole life, a guy who just lives his normal life while a lot of people are watching him on live TV and while the creator of his show controls his every move and his whole life. And just imagine, imagine living in a world where every aspect of your life is controlled and manipulated by unseen forces, where your friends, family, and even your surroundings are carefully curated to create an illusion of reality. The realization that your most intimate moments are not your own, but are watched by countless strangers, both terrifying and deeply saddening. The sense of betrayal and isolation would be overwhelming, knowing that your entire existence has been a meticulously crafted lie, such a scenario would shatter trust and leave you questioning the very nature of your reality. And that, guys, is Charlie's big secret.